In this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy a DVD onto a Windows or Mac computer using Video Pro Converter. So Video Pro Converter is a software that will allow you to drop in any video or DVD and convert it to a different format. I actually did a whole review about the software and other features that are part of it. So feel free to check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description. So here is a DVD that we're going to use with Video Pro to convert it to any video format that we like. And you can see that the DVD that I'm using are all the tech that doesn't buy videos. First thing you do on Windows is you're gonna launch the Video Pro Converter, click on DVD, and now you're gonna select the DVD disc that is loaded onto your DVD drive. Once the DVD has been loaded, you're gonna see the main titles that are on the DVD disc. And all you gotta do is you're just gonna select the title that you want to convert it into a video file. And at the very bottom where all the formats are, you can start adding different formats. Video Pro Converter has a lot of uh, different formats that you can choose from. So in this case, I'm just going to choose the MP4 uh, video format that's very common. Once I've selected the video format, I just make sure I select the title and also the chapters I want to convert to. And also I want to enable hardware acceleration if my computer supports it. And also I want to set the output destination to where my video will be stored after the conversion is completed. Click on run. And if you are using the free version, the free trial version of Video Pro Converter, you do have limitations. You could only rip something that's only five minutes. So if you do want to fully utilize this software, definitely do get a license if you can. But once you click on run and you click on continue, it's gonna start ripping that DVD and converting it into an MP4 format. Once the process has been completed, it'll open up in the folder that you saved it to and you can open up any media player and play back that video. You can also merge two titles into a single video file. So on your DVD, you just select the titles that you want to merge, click on merge title, and then you can also rename that video file into something else. All you do is just click on rename and then rename the tag name and then also the title name. Once you're finished, just click on done. Click on run and you're going to start the DVD ripping process and now it's going to merge those two titles. And once this process is completed, you're going to see that your video has been merged together into one single file. On macOS, it's pretty much the same process. You open up Video Pro Converter, select the DVD that you want to use, let it load and select the title that you want to convert into an mp4 and you can also select the video profile that you would like to use in this case i'm going to use the exact same profile the mp4 format i'm also going to click on the hardware acceleration and also the output destination and once i finished i click on run and let the process begin once the conversion process has been completed it will automatically store that video file into the directory that you saved it to and you can open up quicktime and play the video. You can also merge two titles into a single file. Just click on the titles that you want. Now you might get this little warning. It says that title two is detected to be the main title of this DVD. Generally, there is only one main title in a DVD which contains all movie contents. You are suggested to choose one main title only. Round selection may lead to a conversion failure. So for my DVD that I was testing with, I actually have two titles with two separate videos. So I just click on continue and ignore that message. And I was still able to merge those two videos into one single file. Once you click on continue, go ahead, click on merge title and also rename the video file. So you can rename it to anything you like in the title section, click on done and then click on run. And now it's going to rip the DVD and also going to merge those two video titles into one single file. Once the conversion process has been completed, it will open up the folder where you save the video to and now you can play the merge video. So that's how you use Video Pro Converter to rip a DVD and convert it to any video format that you would like. I highly recommend that you do get the full license so you can unlock all the features. I'll leave my affiliate link below if you want to check out Video Pro Converter's website and get more information. If you want to learn how to digitize your audio cassette tapes, you can check out that video right here.